Okay, how do I shoot? That's nice, they... Either the control, the, the keypad isn't functioning, or... They literally made a Robotron game where you can't shoot. And it looks like it froze based on my constant mashing of the keypad. Wow, Atari, you 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 just fail. That might actually be a problem with mess and not uh not Atari. Meh, I'm still gonna blame Atari. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy to, it's so easy to blame Atari. I'm sorry to say, but we gotta cut that crap out. Uh, Atari, they they were a scummy company, but they weren't totally at fault. Yeah, I I I sorta. Of, yeah. I've gotta remember Atari for their good things and not their terrible things. Yeah, good things like Riddle of the Sphinx. The first game in history that, that had a dick move by the programmer. Okay, I gotta say, they they did a good job with uh, Space Invaders. It's kind of easy to do a good job with Space Invaders. I mean, they, they, they did a hell of a lot better than the Atari 2600. I mean, this I is... Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I don't think there's been a crap version of Space Invaders. Then again, I could be wrong. But yeah, what I really like here is that they did make good use of the analog stick. And they give you different invaders to shoot after after two stages. That's cool. There's a little bit of a of, uh, rapid fire, which is cool. I like that. Interesting they got rid of the fart noise when you died. Although I have to say, it still it still feels kind of loose, control-wise. I don't know. It, it might not really be analog control. Just might be digital, and it's trying to be uh, analog. Just smooth enough to look like it's analog. Then again, the analog stick wasn't really perfected until the N64 PlayStation 1 days. Very, very true.
Ready? Let's see, what else can I put on? 